Hey guys, Daryl here from Show TV. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, today I'm coming to you live from my kitchen, and uh, what I'd like to show you today is arguably my favourite product in our range. Uh, it's our Fryer Touch Machine. Uh, the Fryer is our countertop air fryer. This particular model, which I'm going to show you today, this one here is our flagship model in the range. This is our touch model. Uh, it has a built-in, a really good built-in brain on the top there with a preset cooking guide. Uh, we've got a, a raft of, of features to show you, different accessories that the machine comes with. I've spent five years traveling Australia and New Zealand demonstrating this product to the public direct. So uh, to show you today live from my kitchen is pretty cool. Um, lots of different things we're going to cook today. So we've got some sausages, uh, some chips down here, uh, kebab. Uh, I've got a chicken I've mounted here, but I'm going to talk you through how we get that going. Uh, some pork over the back, some garlic bread. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to have some fun and make some good food. Cook some good food. And uh, if you've got any questions at any stage through the live stream, please just uh, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer them for you live today. And also, one thing I really like, if you're watching the video, please put your um, comment below where you're watching from. I always find it fascinating to see where people are watching from. In the last few weeks, some of these live videos, it's just incredible, all over Australia, all over New Zealand. We love our Show TV Facebook Live fans, so make sure you put in the uh, comments box where you're watching from. And before we get going, Today's special, massive. Click on the link, go on the website, use that discount code. See that? Fry Air Live. All right, use that code and you're going to save 10% off the already discounted price plus free shipping. All right, 10% off what's an already discounted price and free shipping. Now, I'd like to mention the shipping here for a moment. This is the box it comes in. All right. Free shipping. So it doesn't matter whether you're in Perth, Australia, Invercargill, New Zealand, uh, Northland, doesn't matter where you are, folks, anywhere in Australia, anywhere in New Zealand, use that code and we won't charge you for postage. That's free. Okay, our warehouses are based in Melbourne and Mount Monganui. All right, so we're local businesses. Okay, and uh, yeah, we'll get going. I'll just put the comments up here as well so I'm able to answer them if uh, you have any folks. So where are we here? There we are, we'll get that one going. So that's live. Cool. Okay, so where do we start? The chicken. Now, over here, what you'll notice, have a look folks, is I've put the chicken on this rotisserie. Okay, now, when you first mount the chicken, I'll just pull this out so you can see. Have a look there. So you've got a pole that you put through the chicken and a fork at each end. Okay, so you see the fork there. And then what you do, of course, is you tie the legs and the wings, just so when the chicken's cooking in the rotisserie, uh, it's not flapping around all over the place, all right? So that goes in there like so. Now this chicken here is going to take around 35 minutes to cook from raw to fully cooked. And uh, if you have a look here, you'll notice on top of the machine, uh, it's nice and easy to use. So all we do is hit the menu button, and see this, you can jog along all of these presets. So I've jogged along to chicken, and we've got 30 minutes at 240 degrees, with a fan speed of two, and the rotisserie is on. Okay, so it's as easy as that. Now it's not a memory test, everything's there, and we give you a full set of instructions with the machine. Look at this book here, all of these recipes, okay, and uh, cooking guide as well. But uh, a lot of the things that you'll cook with our machine are just simply a set and forget. So Mike, if you want to get right in there and have a look. Folks, you can see that chicken spinning on the rotisserie now. I'll just lift that up so you can see. So it's not cooking in the fat. So, you know, obviously, normally when you're cooking roast meats, they end up simmering away in all the fats. With the frying machine, all the fats actually drip to the bottom. So you're not cooking in that fat, which is good for the hips and good for the heart. So it's actually as simple as that. Um, basically, I can't really do any more there for now. It's just set, job done, ready to go. What I have done is uh, have a look here. We've mixed up a little bit of a base here. So these are just some mixed herbs and some olive oil. 
and in about 10 minutes time what I'll show you, once the chicken starts to brown off a little bit, I actually like to baste the chicken with, the, um, with that base there as well. So, if you've got any questions at home, please feel free to fire away. Any questions there, Mike? Melissa Briggs is watching from Gore. From Gore? Yeah. Cool. That's great. It's so cool to see where people are watching from. Thanks for watching. And uh, we actually come down to the um, field days here in Gore. Waimumu field days, I think it's called. So, um, yeah, been there many times. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we'll get the pork on, folks. And... Um, got a nice big bit of pork here. So this is about three kilo of pork. Okay, now the reason I've got this large piece here is to show you folks that you can actually put a really decent chunk of meat in the machine. Now this isn't going to cook in five minutes, okay, a, a piece of meat this size is going to take you about 60 minutes in the machine. And actually before I put that in there, I'm just going to pop you over here and talk about the nation's favourite food. Do you know what that is? Fries, or if you're in New Zealand, you'll call them chips, okay? So, our machine has this. This is called our fry basket, all right? So, not just for fries. Use it for coffee beans, use it for pine nuts, use it for peanuts. Uh, some customers use these uh, for toasting muesli. But all we do is just place your chips in there, okay, or fries. And what I've got in here, folks, look at that. That is one freezer bag worth, okay? So I just pulled those out of a freezer bag. Now, you can make your own homemade fresh cuts as well. Um, if you make your own homemade fresh cuts, cut them into, you know, um, fries or wedges, and then you have to pre-oil and pre-boil them, okay? So boil them a little bit first before you cut them up, and then if you run a little bit of oil sort of in a, in a bowl like that, then they're going to crisp up nicely. Uh, a lot of people say, well, I thought that you didn't use any oil with an air fryer, and that's true, you don't have to if you don't want to, but please remember, without any oil, you'll get baked potatoes, okay? So, there you go. Anyway, these are easy. I'm cheating here a little bit. These came out of the freezer bag, but watch this. You just put the fry basket in there, and then all we do is just put the lid down, okay? and uh, turn it on, so you just push the start button there, and then jog this over to chips, okay? Simple as that, 25 minutes at 250 degrees with number three fan speed, away it goes. How easy is that? And they're just so, they're just so crispy, they taste so good, um, it, it's really, really is that easy, folks. Now, I take mine camping, so, we go away in a caravan for two weeks every summer with our two young kids who are six and eight. It's just a game changer having this thing in the caravan. This just lives on top of our bench and now we have a full oven in the caravan. It's, it's, it's killer. So uh, have a look inside. I just want to show you this as well. How does it cook? Well, see that? It uses this halogen bowl, all right? So the machine uses a combination of infrared heat and forced air. So behind there is a turbo fan and that forces air throughout the machine. And because we're only heating up this small area here, this is why we can cook these chips in 25, 30 minutes um, with no preheating. So that's the thing, you'll notice that I haven't preheated the machine at all. All right, all I've done here is just whacked it down and away we go. With a normal oven, you would have maybe had 15 minutes of preheating too. So for me with young with young kids, you know, my wife Bridget and I will get home, we'll be like, oh gosh, what are we gonna give the kids for dinner? It might already be half past five. You just pull something out of the freezer, slam it in the fryer, and um, straight away you're cooking. You're not waiting for the oven to preheat. So that's pretty good too. Now they're very energy efficient. I'll talk about that as well, but I think we should uh, get this pork on the go. So. Now the other thing is it has a timer as well. So you'll notice that now we're cooking chicken, now we're cooking chips, and I'm not even thinking about how long these uh, items need to cook because the timer will go off, it will stop, you can literally set the machine and forget it, which is kind of nice. Right, so the, with the pork here, what I do is I actually just get a sharp knife and I like to just score it like this, okay? So, some cuts in here. 
Now, by the way, folks, if you're watching at home and you have any questions during the live show, please feel free to ask. Just throw the questions in the comments box there. And uh, Mike, who's actually helping film the show today, uh, he'll be more than happy to ask them. How many viewers have we got at the moment, Mike? Uh, Twelve. Twelve? That's not too bad. These shows go out live, and then on our Facebook page, what we find is viewers watch them periodically over the, the weeks and months afterwards, and uh, it's incredible how far these videos tend to reach. So, as I said before, please folks, comment where you're watching from. Always love to see um, just where people are as well. Right, so there you go. Basically, this is a nice big bit of pork. This bit here is going to take us, I reckon, about an hour to cook, okay? Smaller bits, um, if you just want to get some, you know, pork belly and crackling, uh, you can actually get that done in even only 20 minutes, all right? So, folks, you're actually going to see this, um, this pork crackle up here. For me, though, this is dinner, so the kids will be home from school later, and uh, this will be dinner, and we'll probably... The odd, uh, the neighbour's kids as well. Right, so we'll run this down here too. Grant's asked, how long is your delivery time? <laughs> is that for the unit itself or for the pork, Grant? <laughs> okay, so uh, delivery time for the unit. If you're in New Zealand or Australia, doesn't matter. Typically it's going to take anywhere between three days, door to door, to a week. However, at the moment, um, as I'm filming this right now, uh, New Zealand is just coming out of the, the COVID-19 crisis. So we have found that uh, the couriers have been delayed a little bit. They've actually been dealing with um, demand, which is about four times the um, normal rate. Look at that. So. Uh, there you go. When you order, you get um, an email straight away which um, acknowledges your order and all of that. Okay, there you go. Look at that, guys. That is going to be so, so nice. Okay, just quickly wash my hands there. And then what we'll do is um, we will salt that. Okay. Right. Okay, check this out, folks. So actually, this stuff here, this is a garlic salt that uh, we purchased from the uh, shows and fairs in New Zealand and Australia. So our business, Show TV Australia, Show TV New Zealand, our team of um, demonstrators travel around both countries. We go to home shows, boat shows, women shows, car shows, field days, and demonstrate these products live. And this garlic salt you can actually buy at the shows and it's really, really good. Any salt will work for this, but I uh, just really like that stuff. So there you go. That's all salted. Now, I'm just trying to think how I can give you some perspective on the size of this. So folks, have a look, there's a teaspoon. Okay, so that's just to give you an idea of how large this piece of meat is. It's, it was about 3.4 kilo, I think. So what we'll do is we'll just pop that in the machine. Okay, now you can see there is a little bit of room there for veggies as well. Not a lot, to be fair, with a cut this size. Um, but that is a reasonable chunk there. Okay, so now we'll just wipe my hands there and then we'll throw that lid down. And I want to show you how you can use the machine in manual mode. Okay, so if there isn't a preset mode, for what you're cooking, place the machine down like this. Okay, and then we press start. Now, you'll notice we've got time, temperature, okay, and fan speed. So those are the three things you need to choose. So for temperature, I'm gonna put this pork on 230 degrees, and the time, I'm gonna pop it at 60 minutes, okay. The fan speed, We'll put at two, but you can see you've got three fan speeds there. All right, so fan speed number two doesn't need to rotate. So all we do now is press start. Job done. Okay, so 
that's ready to go, we can just move on to the next job now. Um, so before we do that, and the next job is going to be some sausages, I've just run you through the special there. Go to the website, use our discount code FRYEAR LIVE. Okay? When you order today, you're going to save 10% off the already discounted price, plus you're also going to get free shipping as well. Okay? Now when you order, just quickly, what you actually get is you get the big box here, okay, your fry air touch. Inside that box, you get the machine itself, okay, you get a high and low grilling rack, which goes in this non-stick dishwasher safe tray. You get the fry basket, which is that one there, that's for your fries, the nation's favorite food. You get our meat fork, which as you can see we're using for the chicken here. Uh, you get a splatter guard, this you can fit on the machine in case you're cooking greasy food. Uh, you get a pair of tongs to move everything around. All of that is standard in the kit with a full comprehensive recipe book there as well. All right. Now also when you order today, we're going to include this which is our deluxe accessory package. All right. These are normally sold separately. In that deluxe accessory package, which is also free today, you actually get our flat rack which is for sausages and flat meats. You get our cooking tray, all right, and you get a 24 centimeter non-stick tray as well. All of this comes with it, folks. And you get our kebab wheel, look at that. Lamb, chicken, and beef kebab. Some customers actually put um, marshmallows on there as well. Everything you see here, you get the whole lot today, plus you get 10% off, Plus you get free shipping, so use that discount code FRY YOUR LIFE and um, get in there, it's a great machine. Now before we put the sausages on, I just want to show you the chicken base then here. So what you'll notice here is this chicken has just started to brown off. Alright, and this is the thing I love about this rotisserie. Check this out. Okay, it actually makes it really easy to do this. So, as the chicken's turning around, baste it here. So these are just some mixed herbs and a little bit of olive oil. And then what I'll do is I'll just crack a little bit, a little bit of garlic salt on that as well. Now folks, if you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments box. I'd uh, love to answer any questions if you have any while you're watching live. Okay. As I said, always pop them where you're watching from. It's fascinating to see just how far our videos go. Okay, so... There we go. So I only need to do that once. I mean, you don't even need to do that, to be honest, but I just find that adds a really great flavor and taste. So, right, down it goes. 18 minutes to go. This is the cool thing as well. If you stop the machine for whatever reason, it just starts back off where we left on, all right? So, lifting it up, voila, back down it goes, ready to go. Right, we've got the pork in there, that's doing its thing. The chips are cooking. So the next thing we'll do is I'll show you how this flat rack works for the sausages. Okay, so folks, this one here, this comes in our deluxe accessory package, all right? So that's actually part of the free gift you get today when you order. And uh, I find this is great for packs of butcher's sausages, okay, among many, many other things. So they just go in there like so. You just get one of those from the... Uh, local butcher or the supermarket, okay, place that down, now you'll see this has adjustable heights, so one, two, three, four, five heights, so all you do is place it in like so, I always make sure it just sort of holds them firmly, and then place that down, here we are, look at that, perfect, okay, now this could also be a toasted sandwich, uh, I find it's great for breaded things, so it might be like, um, you know, fish fingers or something like that that you pull out of the freezer that's breaded. There we go. That goes in like so. And again, this uses the rotisserie function, so you get even cooking the whole way around. Place the lid down. And uh, for this one, do you know, no, I wonder if there is a preset sausages here. No, so what I do, turn it on, and then for the sausages, these are going to be about 15 minutes at 
let's go for 220 degrees with a fan speed of 3. Let's see if that's a good guess because they'll be in the box. Have a look folks, we do supply you with this recipe book here. Now all of this book, this entire thing here was developed by our team here at Show TV. So all these recipes we've actually developed in-house, alright? This book was written for the Fryer Touch Machine, okay? So I'm actually very proud of our team. They did a very, very fantastic job putting this together. So let's have a look here. Shows you how to put the chicken on the fork and all of that. Okay, troubleshooting. Here we go. So sausages. Here we go. Frozen. Here we are. Sausages. 12 to 15 minutes, 230 degrees, fan force 2. Okay, so I'll just change the fan speed there to 2. You can do that on the fly. I uh, got the temperature almost right there. We'll just turn that up, up 1. And yep, yeah, I'd say that's not a bad guess. There we go. So hey, listen, if you'd like one, don't forget, use our discount code FRYERLIFE and you're going to get 10% off. Plus you get free shipping as well. Doesn't matter whether you're in Perth, Australia, doesn't matter whether you're in uh, Invercargill or anywhere over New Zealand or Australia, the shipping's free, you get your 10% and the prices are already discounted. So, now that everything's busy cooking, um, hey, check this out by the way. Oh man, I'm really reluctant to lift this, but I'll just quickly give you a peek, folks. Ready? Got the camera there, Mike? Yeah. Three, two, one. Look at that. That is going to be real good. That's going to be good. <laughs> okay, any questions, fire away. Uh, next thing I'll show you, though, is just how some of these accessories work. Okay, so this is our kebab wheel. Okay, so this is for lamb, chicken, or beef kebabs. And this is one of our non-stick Trace. So these liners are actually in the machine. So look at that. Just showing you here how that works when it's in the machine. Okay, that clicks in like so. So lamb, chicken, beef, veggie kebabs. Now what a lot of customers do, folks, they actually put a little bit of, um, you know, sauce or marinade in the bottom of the machine. And then what you do is you actually let the kebabs turn through the machine as they're cooking. Okay. The other thing is, and um, kids really love this for desserts, you put marshmallows along there and you can toast marshmallows in the machine and then when you're done, lift the lid and while it's rotating you can sprinkle chocolate sauce over as well. So That's pretty cool too. And the skewers, watch this, they just come off like that. There we go, okay, easy as that. So I think there's uh, 10 of those on, in total. So that just goes in there like so. Easy. So that comes in our deluxe accessory package. And you actually get one of those free today when you order as well. Now the machine itself has this non-stick tray. I mentioned that before. These are dishwasher safe. And they're easy to clean. Okay. Now I've had one of these machines at home for many years. I probably only put this in the dishwasher maybe half a dozen times. For the most part, in the sink it goes. Just give it a wipe out, give it a rinse with a little bit of squirted detergent. That's it, job done. Now you've got your high and low grill rack. Okay, this comes standard. High rack, you'll use it for things like uh, steak, use it for uh, fish fingers, that sort of stuff. Flip it over. The low rack, of course, is great for larger cuts of meat, like the pork roast that I showed you before. So that all just attaches in the unit like so. Now it's important to note that anything that you have at home that's oven safe is safe to use. So for example, this doesn't come with the machine, this is mine. Okay. But anything you have that's oven safe that fits in the machine, you're welcome to use as well. Okay. So it could be a casserole dish, uh, it could be a cake tin as well. Bakers love the machine, uh, they're great for baking cakes as well. And you will notice in here, uh, we do have a few uh, baking recipes in there as well, okay? 
what a lot of customers do at the end, just before your um, food is cooked, you can actually put a little bit of tin foil over the top of something like a cake just to stop it browning off as well. Right. So what else is in the machine today? There's so many goodies. Right, these are our tongs. Please remember, the machine is hot. All right, it's a, it, it's a it's an oven. So when you pull things out of the machine, don't forget to use these tongs, okay? Because everything is hot inside. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the energy efficiency of the unit, okay? Speaking of hot, this machine, as you know, has been running and cooking this chicken for 20 minutes now, and you'll notice that my hands are on top of the machine, okay? This is hot to touch, but it's not scalding, all right? The machine doesn't get very, very hot on the outside, and that's because it has a double insulated top here, okay? Now, the other thing is you'll notice, underneath, the bench doesn't get hot either, all right? So, you can use this machine anywhere. Granny flats, caravans, sleep outs, camping, boats, you take the machine with you when you move, all right? So you buy this machine, you move house, you unplug it, and you take it with you, all right? Some people ask me, where would I store it? Well, you don't really need to think about where you'll store it because it's going to spend its entire life every day being used on the beach. I cannot tell you how often we use our frying machine. Now, I did mention the energy efficiency as well. So this machine is a one 0.3 kilowatt per hour machine, okay? Now, a regular household oven can be on average between three and a half and five kilowatts. So, for every hour that you run your normal oven in the wall, you can run this for up to three hours at the same price. So, you save a ton of money on power as well, which is really, really good. Now, fats and oils, I did mention things being good for the hips or the heart. Have a look in here, Mike. We'll just lift this lid again. So check this out folks, look at that, okay, we're, look at that, it's, it's just beautiful, okay, now we're not even 20 minutes through here, see the fat and oil down the bottom, now if that was a chicken in a normal roasting dish, it would literally be simmering away in all that fat, all right, so you've got to admit, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that one back on there. Okay, now... Roger, Mike, Roger's asked, how easy is the machine itself to clean? How easy is the machine itself to clean? Good question. Okay, so this part here is actually non-stick, all right? So just like a good quality non-stick frying pan, this one here you literally just wipe out, okay? I normally just run it under the sink and that's about it. Uh, the actual top of the machine itself, I'll just lift this bit up here. All we do is just wipe that one there out with a damp cloth, okay? And um, then what you actually get as well is this bit here, which is our grease guard. Okay, see that? So that one there, you just place that on like so. And for, you know, meats with lots of fats or oils, no problem there either, you just place that on and it stops them doing that too. Okay, so Mike, do you want to just quickly get some close-ups of that, folks? So I'd love to show you how it works there on that kebab wheel. Check that one out, okay? All right, and what we'll do here is I'll just pop that one on. Okay, so let's have a little look here. Man, this crackling's looking really, really good. Should we have another peek? Yeah, we'll have another Okay, let's have one last peek. Man, oh. look at that. Look at that. Are you watching this at home? <laughs> That's looking pretty good, huh? Okay, so basically, folks, what I normally do with that now is we're going to leave that for about another five minutes and then we're going to turn that temperature down and we're going to let that cook for the rest of the hour, all 
right? And that's going to taste really, really good. Okay, now the next attachment that I want to show you are our trays here because these can be worked with together. Okay. So you get in the machine our high low rack. Okay, so this one here, that's a 24 centimeter non stick tray. Okay, so you can place that in and then you can actually place your high low rack on top. So I'll pull it out like that so you can see. So that goes like that. And then that one goes on top. So now what we can do, folks, is we can use this for steaming things like vegetables as well. All right. So you put a little bit of water in there, okay, and then you put some veggies, uh, you know, it might be broccoli or it could even be fish. Okay, place that inside and um, you get a really, really, really good result there. Okay, so great for steaming, great for baking as well. It's just a baking tray. Okay, you get one of those in the unit too. All right, so we'll place that there. Now, if you've got any more questions at home, please feel free to ask while we're just getting this one done. And don't forget, if you'd like one, use our discount code FRYAIRLIVE. All right, go to the website, um, click on the link there, use that code, and you're going to save 10% off the already discounted price, plus you get free shipping as well, all right? All you need to do is enter that discount code for IE Live in there, and um, you're gonna save a lot of money on your machine as well, all right? So, really, really good. Okay, any questions while we're still going here? No, okay, just keep on rolling. Right, I've shown you this one here. Don't forget, you can use this for peanuts pine nuts, coffee beans, all right? Customers use these for toasting muesli as well. So very, very good machine. And what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna go over and check on our fries, because I think they're nearly done. Okay, check this one out, mate. I'll just grab our tongs. Now, I did mention, folks, that um, everything's very hot. So you get these tongs in the kit, all right? So basically, place these tongs in, and see that? You actually use those tongs to pull that in and out. All right, so just place that in there for now. There we go. And I'm gonna put the garlic bread in here for you now and show you how quickly that cooks. So, just squeeze up your mic with the camera. Okay, so these are my favorite garlic breads here. All right, these are like a flat bread. Just place that one there, that one there. Okay, now these cook very, very quickly. So this is gonna take normally kind of around seven or eight minutes. What you'll find, folks, is the first time you cook something, if you don't have an exact cooking guide in the recipe book, all you do is just cook it once, and then the next time you cook it, it'll be perfect and exactly the same result every time. Basically with this machine, everything that you do will be exactly the same every single time. All right, so we'll get this one on. Oh, sorry. Knock the plug out there. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? I reckon we'll set this for 220 degrees and let's set it for eight minutes with a fan speed of three. Let's see. All right, we'll see how that looks. Now, check this chicken out. This is nearly done. Okay, let's get a close up on that mic. Look at that. Okay, that chicken is looking so, so good. Beautiful, huh? Nearly there, a couple of minutes to go. Then we'll plate that up. Okay, folks, so the splash guard here. You'll see that chicken, how it's, you know, it's spitting a lot of fat and oil around. If you put this up against the halogen light, you get one of these in the kit. This is designed to catch the fat, okay? So it means that the fat doesn't go into where the halogen light is. Now the nice thing about that is it's just like a small plate, right? So for cleaning, all you do is just pop that in the dishwasher, 
just like a plate and it comes out clean and fresh every single time. So that's really good, that's quite key, you get one of those in the kit. And I know that we did get asked about cleaning before, so I'll just run through that again. This unit here, which is um, the tray here, see that? That bit there comes out, okay? So this is the main part to clean. It's non-stick, it's dishwasher safe, it's easy to clean. You just give that a bit of a rinse round, and uh, it's nice and easy to clean, ready to go. Right, let's have a look at those chips, and then I think the chicken will be done. So we'll just drag the chips over here. Okay, check how hot that is. That's still pretty hot. Cool. So we'll get these oven mitts. Right. Oh, you can hear them. Nice and crispy. Okay, so. Look at that, folks. Absolutely. Beautiful. put them in the machine, turn it on, wait till the end. Good, huh? You grab one as well, mate. Okay, so there's our chips, job done. Almost in time for the kids. The chicken, let's have a little look. Clean up a little bit here. Right, so that's just beef. Now I always say it dings when it's done, right? A normal oven in the wall, it will ding, and then what will it do? It will continue to cook, all right? So your oven dings, it doesn't mean that it suddenly cools off and stops cooking. It dings and then you have to charge in and remember to turn it off. The fry air will ding and then it cuts the power to the machine, all right? So it's no longer gonna continue to cook. Because it's insulated, it will hold the heat. The food doesn't go cold, but it doesn't get completely torched, all right? So what we'll do is I just wanna show you here. Look at that. So for everyone who was here at the start of the video, which by the way was only 30 short minutes ago, you'll remember the raw chicken. Look at this chicken now, it's absolutely mint. I'm gonna get a um, sharp knife, which will poke in there so you can see. Okay, look at this. Look at that, okay. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those juices. Folks, that's great. So easy to cook chicken at home, and all the fat and oil has dripped to the bottom. I mean, obviously I added some oil there, if you were watching before for the base, but um, that's pretty good. I might just leave that up so everyone can appreciate it. All right, and then let's uh, have a little look here at the pork. Ready? Squeeze on in, Mr. Mike. Oh man, that's mint. Okay, so. Here we go, as I said, now what we'll do is I'm actually going to turn that down. Uh, so it's still got 37 minutes to go. So now I'm going to turn that down to 150 degrees. And we're just going to let that cook at the lower temperature for another 37 minutes. And that is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Garlic breads, ready? Let's have a little look at that. Okay, they're not ready yet, but there is still four minutes to go. So I'm just going to run you through one more time what you get when you order, folks. So when you order today, you're going to get your fry air sent to you in this big box here, and we will not charge you shipping. It's free shipping, all right? All you do is use our discount code FRYAIRLIFE, and you're going to save 10% on the uh, already discounted price and you get free shipping as well. So it's a great deal, use that code, click on the link below. Now, you're gonna get this box arrived, and on top of it, you're actually gonna get this box as well. Okay, so this is our deluxe accessory package. That's a free gift, that comes on top too. I'll show you what you get inside each box. Okay, so inside this one, the big box, you get the frying machine itself, okay? Inside the machine is this bit here, which is the non-stick liner, see that? So that bit there actually comes out, this one. Dishwasher safe, easy to clean. Now we also include for you, just hold on, I'll grab one. We also include our high-low drill rack, so you get that in there. 
and that, as I said, is double-sided. Okay, so you've got a low and a high setting. That's standard in the machine. You get our splatter guard in the machine. As standard, you get your meat fork. Now, this isn't just for chicken, okay? You can use that for any meats as well. That's standard in the machine. You get your fry basket. It's for the nation's favorite food, but also great for coffee beans, pine nuts, peanuts, you name it. So that's in the kit as well. And uh, a pair of tongs, where did I put those? There we go. Tongs are in there too. And a full set of instructions. A recipe book in there as well. You know, I, I own this company along with my business partners, Al and Phil. And we've been importing this machine into Australia and New Zealand for many, many years. This is absolutely, hands down, the best air fryer you're going to find with all these accessories at this price. It's a, a really, really good deal from um, a company based in Melbourne and based in Mount Monganui in New Zealand. So uh, we're a local company, whether you're watching in Aussie or in New Zealand. So all of that's in the box. Now, the accessories, this one here, as I said, that's a free gift. That's on top. Inside that, you're going to get our kebab wheel. Okay, so lamb, chicken, beef kebabs. All right. There we go. Check that out, folks. Absolutely beautiful. So there's our garlic bread as well. Now, you're also going to get our 24 centimeter steamer tray and our 24 centimeter non stick tray. Okay, so those come in the deluxe accessory package. That one there. Okay, so you get that one there and that one there in the pack as well. And then the flat wrap too. Okay, so that's for lamb, chicken, and uh, flat bits of meat. Also for sausages too. So look at that. Everything you see here, the whole lot, you're going to get with free shipping and 10% discount, so use the code, go to our website, click on the link. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to post where you're watching from as well. I love to see where people are watching from. And uh, thanks very much. We'll get stuck into this food and we'll um, chat to you again on our next Facebook Live video. Thank you.